In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate PayPal with Contact Form 7 so you can use your Contact Form 7 forms to also accept payments, which is pretty awesome. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever. You get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. The first thing we need to do is install the PayPal add-on for Contact Form 7. To do that, we're going to go to Plugins and then Add New. Then type in CF7 PayPal or some variation of that. And you should come up with multiple results. I usually use this first one because it has the best stats, in my opinion. 9,000 installations, 4.5 stars, compatible with the current version, updated two months ago. This one could be just as good they're both developed by a paypal certified partner but has fewer installs it's untested with the current version so when you watch this video you might actually do the search and this one might be the better one and this one might have more stats hard to tell but they both work in similar ways so you can follow this video and use either of those i'm just going to click on install now on this first one here and i click on activate now we have a new option under contact called paypal settings i'm going to click on that to open it we have some instructions here on how it works. Basically, we need to set up the settings on this page and then set up the settings on individual contact forms. So the first settings we do are language. There's a lot to choose from. Not every language in the world, but it still covers quite a number of them. Currency, again, not every currency in the world, but the currencies that match the languages in the language list, so that makes sense. So choose your language and currency, add your merchant ID, or the PayPal email address into this field. The plugin recommends use merchant ID, but the email address works just as well. If you want to use the merchant ID, I'll show you how to find it right now. Let's go, I'm going to open a new tab, go to paypal.com. In the top right, there's a profile link. Click on it to open it. Click on profile and settings. And it takes us to the my business info section. And at the very bottom, it has the merchant account ID. And this is what you'd copy and paste and put into this field here if you want to use the merchant ID instead of the email address. The Sandbox account is a fake PayPal account where you can do testing and have transactions not be live. So if you have a Sandbox account, you can use that here for testing. If not, just use the main account. And I recommend you just do make a, a $1 form and just test it yourself. $1 is not going to break the bank. And at least you know it works with live transactions. Click on live mode if you're ready to make it live. The cancel URL is a link to a page where people go if they do not follow through with the purchase. So the way the PayPal integration works, they fill out your form, then they're redirected to PayPal. If they end up not paying at PayPal, they will be sent to this cancellation form. So it allows you to try to save the sale, maybe offer a discount or ask a question as to why they had a problem or give customer support information so they can contact you to try to save the sale. If the purchase goes through, they're sent to the redirect URL. This would most commonly be a thank you page, maybe an upsell page. Redirect method at the bottom. Method one and method two, that they don't really describe what happens, but one of these will work. Sometimes one will work, the other won't. So if you find your testing and method one does not redirect you to the cancel URL or the, re or the return URL, try method two. If method two doesn't work, try method one. If neither of them work, this plugin is not going to work for you. Got to try a different plugin. After you set these settings, we go to contact forms. And now every contact form that you have and every new one that you create, as long as you have the plugin installed, will have a new tab called PayPal. If we click on that tab, we have some really simple settings. You got to choose to enable PayPal on this form or not. You can enter an item description here. I'm just going to copy and paste it so we can see where it goes. Item price, it's going to say 17. SKU number will be something you use internally. Maybe that's our SKU. And we're going to click Save. We're going to check out how this looks on a live form. I'm going to copy the form show code, make a new page, paste the short code into the page, make sure on the text tab. Let's call it PayPal 
CF7 and publish it. Now I'm going to take a look at the page to see what we have. And what you'll immediately notice is there is no PayPal information on here. So when we fill the form out, which I'm just going to fill out really quick, I click on send at the bottom. We should now be redirected to PayPal to make a payment. Here we are at PayPal. Here we have that $17 price tag that we set in the settings. So what this tells us is when you make these forms, let's go back to that page we're on, nothing on here lets the customer know they're actually gonna be sent to a PayPal form when they click send. So when you're designing these forms, make sure that on the page, you clearly state you'll be redirected to PayPal to pay this amount of dollars, which you can do inside the form builder because all of these settings that we have in the PayPal, the $17 and description SKU, these are all associated with this specific form. So when you build this form, you can just type in right at the top, you'll be redirected to PayPal and asked to pay $17, at which point we'll start packaging and delivering and shipping your item. So you wanna make sure you do that because there's no indication here that you will be sent to PayPal when they click send. And what's gonna happen is after they click send here, you're gonna receive this contact form submission right when they click send, just like regular contact form seven functionality. And then once they're at PayPal, after they've paid, you will then receive notification from PayPal that a payment has been received. So it's gonna be two different emails coming, two different steps, and just make sure you test it and it's working how you expect it to so that your customers aren't surprised when they go through this process. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.